What's good, YouTube, and welcome to the house. Just kidding. Uh, I hate House of Champs. That dude is effing annoying. Um, <laughs> anyway, so uh, this is my Neospatian deck profile uh, on the 4th of July. So uh, nothing more American than Elemental Hero Neo. So let's get into it. Happy 4th! Okay. Um, to start out, play three Elemental Hero Neos. Some people only play two because they don't want to see it. Uh, I actually prefer to see this guy, so uh, I'm okay with it. Um, Neos is a great card. That artwork's amazing, especially in the Seeker Rare. Uh, Neos has always been like my favorite elemental hero. He was like the first one that was actually like good on his own. So um, anyway, that's it. Uh, you play two elemental hero Prisma. Uh, Prisma, you can go back and forth between two or three, but because this card is so easily searchable and uh, you have ways of summoning from the deck, Prisma is pretty much how you get everything going. I know maybe you would want to play three. I like two right now um, to make room for other things. Uh, by the way, Prisma... He just dumps uh, from your deck to the graveyard a fusion material, so you dump Neos or dump... Uh... But you could run it at three, right? You could, yeah. Okay. One Honest Neos. Uh, Honest Neos, he just enables OTKs and some other plays that you can do. Um, he's a great card. Uh, he really helps Elemental Heroes as a whole. One Blazeman. Uh, Blazeman just searches your poly. Also, he's a fire monster, so that works a lot with what you're trying to do. With... How does he search poly? You just, if he's summoned, you just add a poly. Oh, okay. That's all he does. Um, one Neospace Pathfinder. This card can search out Neospace. Um, it's fine as a one of. It's a Rota target as well. But if you have it in your hand, you could still like summon it, maybe do some damage. But uh, you could fuse with it as well. Um, now for the Neospatians. One Dark Panther. One Grand Mole. One Air Hummingbird. One Aqua Dolphin. One Flare Scarab. And one Glow Moss. You play one of each. Um, six copies of Neospatians is enough in the deck. You really don't need to run multiple copies. And each one kind of serves a purpose. Some are better than others on their own. Obviously, like, Grand Mole's pretty awesome. If you just got him, that's fine. Aqua Dolphin recently uh, helped people win some uh, some tournament. Was it NAWCQ or whatever? He actually showed up and people were using him to beat out hand traps. So uh, he's obviously very useful. What, what does he do? So if you have another monster on your field, or if... If you have him, you can do it as well, but it's not, I wouldn't recommend it. But basically, you can discard a card to activate his effect, target a monster you control, and if the monster you targeted has more attack, then you get to look at your opponent's hand. If you have a monster on your field that has more attack than a card in their hand, you can destroy that card in their hand and they take 500 damage. So people were using it to look in their opponent's hand and, like, snipe out a, uh, a hand trap. Ooh. So that was pretty cool. I'm glad to see these getting some shine. And now the hand traps are such a meta thing. Well, they've been meta for a couple years. Uh, Air Hummingbird, he can gain you some life points. It's not always recommended in this deck. I mean, like, you, if p people know where I'm going with this deck, you kind of want lower life points than your opponent, but there are times where you use his effect to gain life points. Uh, the, other than that, these two I really don't use much. These three I don't really use much on their own, but uh, they're there for a purpose. They're there to get your fusions out. Anyway. Um, that's it for the Neospatians. I play one Rainbow Dragon just because I love Rainbow Neos and I couldn't pass up the opportunity to attempt to go into him. So, uh, one Rainbow Dragon for that. Um, now to the spells. Play three Convert Contact. They just hauled this card out in the uh, Relentless Revenge set. I had my three commons. I thought that was all we were going to get. I didn't know it was going to get hauled out, but I like it. Um, Convert Contact I think is necessary at three for this deck because you need draw power and you need to be able to pitch it. This is actually a plus one because uh, you p pitch a Neospatian from your hand to the graveyard to pitch a Neospatian from your deck to the graveyard, and then you draw two. So you didn't plus one your hand, but you plus one in the graveyard, which is pretty good for this deck because of what the next card is. Three Miracle Contact. Without this card, I don't think this deck would really be playable because you wouldn't be able to do much with anything that's in your graveyard or in your hand. But this kind of makes it so you can summon these monsters out efficiently and you don't always have to have them on the field. But Miracle, Miracle Contact shuffles the materials for a Neos Fusion Monster back into the deck um, oh, for... from hand, field, or graveyard. So okay. it's pretty it's pretty busted fusion card. Um, you got to play three of it. Next, three A Hero Lives. This card is used to summon out pretty much only elements here of Prisma. Now, you could summon out uh, Blaze Man, but for the most part, it's just going to be Prisma. Um, you have to pay half your life points, which in this deck is actually a great thing because of we want less life points than your opponent. So this kind of actually helps us kill people. Um, yeah, this card's great, but that, like I said, that's pretty much all you can go into is just those one of those two monsters. Uh, next, I play 3E, e, a Mercy Call. I've seen other people... 
Now, I, w I will give credit. There's a guy on YouTube. I forgot. I think his YouTube channel is Mast Hero, but I'll give him credit. Uh, the deck idea for this I got from him. I play more E Mercy calls than he does. Our decks are slightly different, but uh, I, all the credit to that dude because I didn't know that you could play Neo Spatians like this. Once I found out you could, I was like, I want, I want to do that. So, three E Mercy call. This could search out your Neos if you want it in your hand. Definitely your Prismas, your Blaze Man if you needed to fuse, or your Honest Neos if you want to like try to go for game or have some protection. Um, so, three of that. Two polys. Uh, it's searchable off Blaze Man. Blaze Man's easily searchable, and uh, that's pretty much I think all you need. Two is fine. I, some people could only play one. I think two is I think two is perfect. What do you think of the, that artwork, by the way? I'm so happy they printed this as the original artwork because the original LLB is the alternate artwork, and I think this is the superior artwork because it's from the show. All right. Um, two Miracle Fusion. Uh, by the way, this is not a Link deck. Uh, it's Master Rule Three. I don't play with links. If you, I just hate the mechanic, and we've already gone over that, but uh, two Miracle Fusion. Miracle Fusion gets out your Elemental Hero, the Omni Heroes that can just come out with any attribute or whatever, so uh, you are playing, I'll go into them later, but you're pretty much playing every attribute. I think I've only taken out like one or two, so you pretty much have everything at your disposal. Miracle Fusion's great. Uh, yeah. From my spicy tech that I haven't seen anybody else use, two fake hero. Uh, so this card's amazing. Uh, you could possibly maybe bump it to three, but what it lets you do is it Let's you special summon elements of hero from your hand, uh, and the monster still has, I believe it has its effects and everything. Yeah, the monster has its effects and everything. It just can't attack and then it returns to the hand at the end phase. But that's fine because you have a Neos. Just play your fake hero and then summon it out and then summon your Neos patient. Or if you have Prisma, boom, there you go. You just do Prisma and then do Prisma's effects. So this card is amazing in here. It really, what before when I was originally playing that guy's build, the Masked Hero guy's build, uh, it just. I found that my hands would clog a little bit, and this card pretty much like solves that issue. Uh, one reinforcement of the army, you have so many targets. Uh, your only Neospatian that's a Rota target is Aqua Dolphin, but that's okay. But you pretty much always have something to go into with Rota. One Monster Reborn, you're almost always using this to bring back elements of Hero Neos, which brings me to the next card. Oh, Oversoul. Also, this literally just brings back elements of Hero Neos, but that's pretty much how you can either get into your plays. To spell to, someone from the graveyard? Yeah. Okay. Uh, especially of an elements hero normal monster from the graveyard, which is pretty much just Neos in this deck. Uh, I mean, th this is basically either going to get you into your fusion play or let you just use Neos as a big beat stick. Either one. Uh, one Wrath of Neos, because Prisma, when it sends Neos from the deck to the graveyard, it becomes that monster's name. Wrath of Neos is amazing because you can just say, hey, he's now elements of Hero Neos. Wrath of Neos says, that monster that is Elements of Neos gets returned to the deck, and then you blow up every card on the field. Uh, so it's an amazing card. Uh, one Neospace, uh, that ulti, look at that. Um, Neospace, I think it's essential in this deck. Uh, it allows all your Neos fusion monsters and Elements of Neos to gain 500 attack and defense. And then on top of that, they uh, your fusion monsters don't have to return to the extra deck at the end phase. Uh, this is amazing. You could possibly even bump this to two, or maybe bump Neospace Pathfinder to two, but... Uh, I absolutely love this card, and it, it's a perfect field spell for this deck. People crap on Neospatians all the time. I think it's a playable and very fun deck. This helps. Uh, one Contact Out. Contact Out is a godsend as far as like a card that helps the deck, a quick play. Uh, this is an older card, but basically what it lets you do is uh, quick play. You can just tag out one of your Neos Fusion monsters, and then if all the materials that are listed on the card are in your deck, you can just summon them out, and nothing happens to them. They just summon out, so... You could always, you could, I, I usually use it to just OTK and attack some more, and uh, then later you could contact Fuse if you wanted to, to do another effect, but Contact has a great card. I could see people running multiples if they wanted to. I just have one copy, and I think one's good enough. Uh, and then lastly, one Assault Armor. Assault Armor, oddly enough, I mean, it has Neos on the cover, but it's not directly related to Neos, but what it does is it lets you equip to a Warrior Monster. It gets a 300-point bonus when it's equipped. That doesn't matter, because all you're using it for is you send this to the graveyard if you... You're only allowed to equip this to a warrior if you control no other monsters, but uh, you just equip it to it and then send it to the graveyard and that monster that you equip to can attack twice. Uh, it's an amazing card, very underrated. I don't know why more warrior decks wouldn't play it. Um, going to the extra deck, one Rainbow Neos. Uh, Rainbow Neos, like I said, I've always loved this card and I used to play just a Rainbow Neos turbo build, but I kind of got like a little tired of it with Shadow Mist and Vision Hero Bion. It got really old and really boring really quick. but. Uh, Rainbow Neos is just amazing. I just couldn't pass up trying to fit him into the deck. It was very tough, but uh, th this card is amazing. You pretty much get this out, you win. Basically what he does is 
You can send a monster from your field to the graveyard to shuffle every monster on their field back into the deck. You can send a spell or trap to shuffle every spell or trap they control to the deck. Or you can send the top card of your deck to the graveyard to shuffle all cards in their graveyard back into the deck. He's amazing. He's 4,500. You equip this to Assault Armor. That's game. Um, oh, yeah. He's amazing. Vision Hero uh, Trinity. Now, I may take this card out uh, whenever that new Neospatian Fusion Monster gets announced. And if it's actually any good, I'm sure it will be. But Trinity, uh, you can still make him in here. He takes three uh, Hero Monsters, which isn't too hard in this deck. But when he comes out, his attack gets doubled to 5,000. And then he can attack uh, up to three monsters a turn. He can't attack your opponent directly, but if they got a full board 5,000 multiple times, that's pretty good. 5,000? He has five, he'll become 5,000 attack, yeah. To, dur geez. During the turn of this card's Fusion Stone, its attack is doubled. Wow. And you can attack up to three monsters, which is really good. Uh, Elemental Hero, Great Tornado. Now, the only wind you're playing is basically Air Hummingbird, and all the Neospatians are really easy to put in the graveyard, so it's not too hard. Uh, and he's a good card. He can half the attack of all your opponent's monsters when he comes out, so... He's my favorite elemental hero. He, oh, well, I mean, he wasn't the originals, but he's a cool-looking he's a cool he's, card. He's really good. Yeah, he's really cool-looking. One elemental hero, the Shining. This is your light one. Uh, Shining gets 300 extra attacks for every banished elemental hero, I think, with a different name or just total. I don't remember, but um, usually we don't get him to a crazy amount because we're not playing a heavy elemental hero build, but... Uh, he, I go into him fairly often because you have enough light monsters because Neos is a light and Prisma is a light, so he comes out fairly often. Um, he's a good card. Uh, one Element Zero Nova Master. This is probably the one I go into the most because you can just... If you have Blazeman and you have another Element of Hero in your hand or whatever, that, that equals Nova Master, so that's like a great card. Uh, if he kills a monster by battle, he can draw a card for you, so that's really good. 2,600. He, out of all the Omni Heroes, he's probably my favorite. Um... One absolute zero. Um, the only water you're playing is your Aqua Dolphin, but that's okay because this card is worth running if you can make it. Uh, Ab Zero, I think it says when he leaves the field, destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Uh, and then he also gains 5 or attack for every other water monster on the field besides himself. So, you know, it's happened before where he gets a little extra boost, but this card's great because he can just, your opponent has to be aware of what this card's doing at all times. Um, one Neos Knight. Neos Knight, I don't always go into, but he's pretty much always live. You could always go into him because pretty much everything you're playing, except for, I mean, the, some of the Neos patients aren't warriors, but everything else is. Um, he, I believe his effect is whatever other warrior you used to fusion summon him with Neos, uh, he gains half the attack of the original attack of that monster. And then he can attack up to two monsters a turn, but your opponent takes no battle damage. But that's fine. He's just kind of a big beat stick. Um, and then for the Neos patients. You got the big ones, one element to hero, Magma Neos. This card was hell expensive to get as a seeker rare, but it was worth it. Look at that. Um, he has a couple effects. I really don't want to get into it uh, too crazy because it would take a long, it would make this video even longer. But basically, he gains 400 attack for every card in the field, and then if he leaves the field because of his own effect, he can return like everything back to the deck, something like that. But he's a, he's a big beat stick. Just he's huge. Uh, it's not hard to get him up there, and he just takes Magma Neos and. Uh, Oh, uh, what's his name? Grammel and then Neos to make. Uh, and then you have the other one, uh, Storm Neos. Uh, so Storm Neos, he, I believe he can just blow up back row. Um, he's, he's, these are both good options to have. Uh, you don't always go into him very much. The other one that takes the other two, takes two uh, Neos patients to make is the Chaos Neos. I don't play him anymore. I have the card. I have the card, but I don't, I don't play him just because his effects really aren't that good and it's really not worth it because you can always go into something else. Um, so one Glonios, uh, Glonios is actually pretty good. He can pop a face up card and if it's a spell card, he can just attack directly. That's usually what I use him for. He can pop a monster, but I believe he can't attack the turn he does that. So, um, yeah, so Glonios is actually, I mean, Glow Moss is terrible. It's a terrible card, but it's worth it to try to get this guy out. Um, one Flare Neos, he gains 400 attack for every spell and trap card on the field, or my plus field, I don't... Whoops. You're a, ter you're a terrible cameraman. I'm a terrible cameraman. Uh, anyway, yeah, so he gains he gains 400 attack for every one of those. He can be a big beat stick. Uh, he's not terrible to go into, and he looks cool. He kind of looks like Cell. I kind of like that. Oh, so really? Yeah, do you not see that? I mean, he's different color, but he kind of looks like Cell. Do you oh, not see yeah, it? Oh, yeah, he's got the... Str okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um... One Aqua Neos. Aqua Neos, so there's a combo you could do before you get him out with the Aqua Dolphin where you can rip a card out of your opponent's hand before you fuse and then summon him and then rip another card out. It costs you two cards out of your hand, but if you can snipe cards out of your opponent's hand, I think that's always a win. So 
He's not a bad option to go into. I go in from time to time. That's pretty much all he does. Um, one Grand Neos. Grand Neos I actually go into quite a lot because he can just freely just target a monster in your opponent's side of the field and just bounce it back to the hand without having to attack like his uh, fusion material. Um, he comes in Grand handy a lot. Yeah, okay, he comes yeah. in handy a lot and he's pretty cool. You know, like his artwork. Um, the artwork's pretty cool. Yeah. One Dark Neos. Uh, I don't really make him too often unless I have to. Uh, he's not terrible. He can target an effect monster your opponent controls and then negate its whole effect for the whole turn. Um, that's pretty much all he does. That can come in handy from time to time, but his artwork's cool, and he's just an option to go into. Um, lastly, this is basically your win condition. It's Air Neos. Air Neos, this card was hell expensive. I finally just got him in the mail. Um... Air Neos, if your life points are lower than your opponent's, whatever the difference is, you, he gains that much attack points. So if you play a Hero Lives and get off your play, he's gaining 4,000 attack. On top of that 2,400, yeah. which is 2,500. Like 2,500, which is like 65. six, 6,500. Yeah. That's insane. But we can, I've pushed it more than that. Most people, if they've ever seen they, replays of this. Equip him with like Assault Armor and all that? Uh, no, there's, dude, plenty, that's, that's there's plenty of things you can do. But yeah, yeah uh, he's, he's an amazing card. I love this card. I love this artwork. I remember back in the day when these... These packs were coming out. I just I fell in love with Neos Patience. I always wanted to make him a deck. Just didn't know it was possible. Um, so I want to thank that Master Hero guy for his YouTube video. But um, that's pretty much it for the deck profile. Uh, I love this deck since I started playing it. Because like I said, originally I was playing kind of Neos Turbo, which is a lot of Elemental Hero Neos with Shadow Mist, and I really just I kind of fell out of love with it. And this deck I haven't I haven't stopped having fun with it. So anyway, that's it for the deck profile. Uh, happy Fourth of July to everyone. And uh, yeah, this is Chris signing out.